if I talk to the players about 96, I have to explain because the most were not born at that time. So <laughs> I don't want to talk about that because that makes me feel very old. <laughs> um, no, th there is nothing, really nothing to compare because uh, we played in Wembley. So this was a, a special match for, at that time, you know, I was 34, I think. Um, and this was the biggest thing you can reach in my head at that time to play in old Wembley. It wa was one of the last games uh, in, in Wembley. And to play against England in England. You know the history with uh, 1966 and everything. And um, this makes it unbelievable special. And um, after that, the ex experience was amazing because you know when we were uh, the one the match day after uh, minus one, we made our training there. And the first thing was I was a little bit disappointed because we uh, first the locker rooms, oof, yes, not really modern. Um, and you go up a little bit of hill to the to the pitch. Of course, in Germany, this is a kind of quality if you say this is a Wembley grass. So that means it's uh, really like a floor. It's perfect and uh, like a carpet. And OK, the pitch was OK. But then I looked uh, the rows and some I saw some, I think, some old wooden uh, places and things. And as so first I thought, this is Wembley? I, I don't know where is where is the history where is the miracle, and the next day when the ref says you can go out for warming up and you go again up this hill in that moment, you you make the first step into the stadium at once you know what is a miracle because the crowd was amazing was unbelievable uh, shouting singing and everything you can you you could feel all this energy, and I during the warm up I only think try to take take this energy and put it in yourself. During the warming up, I, I, had, I, 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 I know what, what a miracle is. And then my own history there, this is of course something special that, that doesn't help uh, the players. I only t told them that I was in the starting line in the first game, I was a substitute and I came in the second one, in the third I didn't play against Italy, <laughs> and then against Croatia I come in, and then semi-final and final I was in the start starting line. That's what I told to the substitutes because I want that they believe in their chance and they have to be ready every time. This is maybe a thing I can give to the players, but not anything of my history. That's, uh, it's very uh, gentle that you uh, uh, call me Stefan, I, uh, because you know the history of my name, my, my second name. And so <laughs> these are, these are all the, the funniest things around everything, but this is a personal. So I, I can tell my granddaughter, I can tell her a lot of these personal stories, but that doesn't help my players. Because we have another story with my mom, but I, maybe later. <laughs>